Hello YouTube, this is Jason. Welcome to my channel. Today is a continuous video to my last video on iPhone backup and recovery. Now in my last video, I talked about how you can do regular automatic backup using iCloud and how you can restore your apps and data from your backup. I'll link the video down below if you're interested. However, there's a problem with that approach. It assumes your phone is still working and you can still access to your backup through iCloud. So that approach is really more for when you misconfigure your iPhone and you want to go back to a last stable state. Or if you have a new phone and you want to transfer all the configs and settings to that phone so it appears to be exactly the same as your old one. But what if your phone can't even boot up? Stuck on the Apple logo for instance. This is exactly what happened to me last time about two weeks ago when I tried to upgrade my iPhone 6 Plus to iOS 11 Beta 6. Basically during the upgrade the phone got stuck on the Apple logo screen and couldn't move further and uh, this is what it looks like on the screen. And about some of you who are watching this video are probably on the same boat. You're ready to hit the upgrade button to the next level of iOS, but you're still concerned about whether you can go back in case something happens down the road. Let me show you how I recover my iPhone from a last upgrade failure. And next time when you have the same scenario, just come back to this video, follow the steps, and hopefully you can get your great phone back. So let's do it. There are two things you need to check before you do this. First is your iTunes needs to be up to date. And the second is you have a solid backup of your phone, including all the apps, the settings, and the config the way you want it. And now let's go ahead and do the, the restore. So basically the idea of doing this is to put your phone into a recovery mode and then extract all the files from iTunes and send it into your your iPhone. So here it is, so I'm holding my iPhone and pre let's pretend this is a break phone. Okay, we're stuck on this Apple local page. What you want to do next is you hold your um, home button and the, the wake button for more than 10 seconds like this. And now you're going into recovery mode. You can see the uh, indication to ask you to connect to your iTunes. And you're going to see the screen pop up on, on your laptop and saying there's a problem with your iPhone and that requires to be updated or restored. And uh, in this situation, you want to do a restore because your phone is already break. So let's do restore. And uh, it's gonna, it's gonna ask you whether you're sure to do the restore. And let's continue with restore and update. And you can say it's extracting the software right now. Okay, so now, now the phone is booted up, and uh, as you can see, it's just like you just open up a new iPhone, right? There's nothing there, and uh, it's asking you to set it up. Okay, so now we're at a screen. You have the option to restore your backup. Since we have a iCloud backup. I'm going to restore from there. Okay, now give me the option to choose a backup. I'm going to choose the most recent one, which is this morning, 12.36 a.m. I'm going to choose this. And now it's restoring from the backup. And this includes all my apps, my settings, my configs, 
it's gonna restore my phone to the state where it, right before it got braked. And boom, just like that. Now we're back to business. Look at all the apps, it's installing all the apps. So yeah, the whole process took about maybe 30, 40 minutes. And uh, that's how I recovered my iPhone. I hope this is helpful to you. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up and please subscribe my channel so you can see more video coming.